Are you guys ready to go on my virtual field trip? Cause I am ready to go on this virtual field trip and then I'm ready to start booking the real field trip. Uh, so our destination was Singapore, is Singapore. So over the past couple of days, you have done research. You are now ready to start putting together your slides so that you can turn in what you have. Um, and I can also give you a couple of days to do this because it is it's a lot to sit down. And I know you guys are gonna make your slides better than I have. Uh, and I know you like to spend time doing that. So the first thing we're gonna do is our final destination is the Sungi Bulo Wetland Reserve. Uh, and we're going to fly from Denver International Airport to the Chengi Airport in Singapore. So here's our itinerary. It's going to take us about 22 hours to fly there with a cost of about $1,200. Not bad. Uh, next, we see a closer look at Singapore. So we are in the Indo-Pacific region of the world. Uh, we see here's Southeast Asia over here with Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, India, uh, China up above, and then you like Japan's over here, Taiwan, the Philippines, down here where uh, it's been cut off is uh, Australia, Papua New Guinea. Um, and then of course, we are going to go to the island of Singapore, which is really close to Malaysia. Uh, there are, you know, and then things are sort of spread out in this part of the world, uh, Indonesia over here. So that's our destination. And we really want to go to the wetland reserve when we get there. So when we land at the airport, uh, this is where the airport is located. This is where our wetland reserve is. So our plan is to take a taxi about 40 or so minutes uh, dr driving through the Singapore uh, from the airport out to the wetland reserve. Uh, when we get there, um, I even when I travel to places in the United States and places that I've been to before, I really like studying maps first and people make fun, but I, I went to school for geology. You know, I had my degrees in geology. So looking at maps and examining maps, it's just fun and part of who I am. So I like going to Google Images now that we have this wonderful technology and Google Maps and Google, um, what is that, Earth, Google Earth. Uh, and I like looking at the different aerial views so I can get a sense of direction and a sense of where I'm going. So the map on the right is the Google map and then the, the map on the left is the Google map satellite view. Um, on the right, you can see the area in green on these Google Maps usually represent uh, protected areas of forests or something uh, that wouldn't have necessarily houses in. And then the gray areas are more of like the city locations. Um, you can see there's some restaurants nearby, there's some shopping nearby. I didn't look for things like hotels and shopping and restaurants, but you certainly could if you really got into that. Um, I'm obsessed with this wetland reserve. So on the left, you can see that the wetland reserve satellite view, for some reason, the um, southern part of here is way clearer in satellite view than this, and I don't know why. So I just didn't feel like that was a great way to uh, understand where we were going. So I went to the trusty TripAdvisor page, uh, and I don't necessarily trust everything that's on TripAdvisor because it's general people just making complaints or saying things, and I don't know how much is real. But 522 people reviewed this wetland reserve. And of the reviews, they look pretty positive. So that's a good start. Uh, the overview of this area is it's a 200 acre reserve situated north of the island and it is home to over 150 species of rare and exotic birds. Throughout my research, one thing I discovered is it's actually uh, was just sort of um, not discovered by birders, but the birders, people who loved observing birds were the ones that were like, wait, 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 we have to protect this place. This place is too important to let, you know, people trample all over it, to build buildings, to build houses. Let's make this an actual reserve. Uh, so on TripAdvisor, they, there was uh, like 900 pictures and I picked this picture to show you because this is the wetland area with the mangroves and this is a boardwalk where I'm going to really focus on looking for my mudskippers. 
Now, in the meantime, as I was searching this reserve, I found so many other cool and like there's a swimming pit viper and pit vipers are venomous snakes. Ah, I was like, well, that's super cool. There's a monitor lizard that swims. Uh, there's lots of crab species. There was a purple heron. So like that idea that there's this great blue heron and there's this other species of herons and I think herons are very cool. Uh, so thinking about when I go here, uh, that it's not just the mudskippers I'm going to be looking for, but I'm going to be looking for all those other organisms as well. Then I found on a national park site for Singapore, a walking map of the area. And I thought this is really cool because this area is over 200 acres and it's all protected. And look at kind of like where we can go. So there's a coastal trail, there's a forest trail, there's a canopy walk, there's a migratory bird trail. What? I mean, I could spend a week here easy. So the visitor center, obviously you have to check in there. You have to get in from any information and think about, you know, what we're doing. There's a junior adventure trail, which is probably shorter. And then we can travel along the coast, walking all the way to the wetland center. And there's a research uh, component to that. So I'm thinking in my next life, I mean, like I do want to study black footed ferrets in one of my lives, but Mudskippers are now really high on the list. Uh, then I can go out into this tidal pond and this migratory bird trail is going to um, be a safe place for species of birds that are migrating to come and feed because it's protected. So I'm really excited about my adventure in the uh, walking trail of this wetland reserve. And then I found some pictures online that I wanted to include that this is actually from the wetland reserve and mudskippers are really great camouflage. So I imagine that, you know, when you go to YouTube and you search, uh, you know, the, the Sungi Bulo Wetland Reserve, you're going to get a lot of people's home videos or that people can post home videos. And I think it, the general public might not be as obsessed with mudskippers as I am, but they also might not even know to look for them. And because they're so camouflaged, you might look up from like a platform walking area and look down and it might not really be obvious of what you're seeing. And the mudskippers are pretty small in the scheme of other things. And of course, they are in and out of the water. They're moving around. Their motion's kind of jerky and fun. So maybe that would stick out. But the left here, um, they have sort of like a little pool that they can keep moist and uh, gulp in water, and then of course their tracks, which I thought were adorable. Uh, this is a short video I found. Actually, it's a little bit longer uh, than, you know, just a couple minutes. If you find a video, you can uh, tell me which section to watch. This video is documenting reproduction, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and it's captioned. The narration is in English, but it's uh, heavily accented English, so sometimes it's hard to hear. And that's just something you get used to when you travel around the world. Is long-tailed macaws, plantain sparrow, fruit bats. These are just some of the wildlife that you can see in Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve. Perched at the northwestern tip of Singapore, Sungai Bulu Wetland Reserve was discovered by a group of bird watchers. Their efforts to conserve Sungai Bulu came to fruition in 1989, when the government officially designated the site as a nature park. And then, of course, to March each year, um, I was looking for my mudskipper section. As far away I as Siberia, why didn't oh here Singapore it is. as a resting place? I knew it was sooner. Mudskippers are amphibious fish, which means that they are able to leave water for an extended period of time. They are quite active when out of water and uses their fin to move around. Shellfish can be spotted at low tide gliding through the mud flats. Just a super short, short section on mudskippers certainly doesn't give it the justice I would like, but it's just one individual species of hundreds of species that live in this wetland reserve. So there is my virtual tour of where we're going, the Sungi Bulo Wetland Reserve in Singapore. 
I hope you enjoyed our trip and it would be really fun to schedule this and go on a trip. So work on your slides. Let me know if you have any questions, come to our Google Meets. I know that this is going to be um, harder for some people than others, depending on what organism you picked, and that's okay. Just pick a place in the world that has what you are studying and plan a trip there and explain where we're going. I will see you soon, bye.